they're such forward thinking people. Yeah. Like they, they just have this eye on the bigger picture. Yeah. They just like, it just oozes out of them, the love of Quran. Like yeah. you just get jealous around them. Like, yeah. wow, there's a love of Quran in here. And just from, from children to the adults, to the yeah. elders, it's like this community just breathes and inhales and exhales the Quran. Yeah. What would you say is the best masjid you visited? Oh boy, that would hands down would have to be. So obviously, yeah, Ustad, you've been to many different places and uh, what would you say is the best culture you've experienced? Yeah, so my, my views on culture changed a lot. And uh, I realized Allah has given each culture certain qualities that He didn't give other cultures. And too often we like, you know, in, in the world of comedy and even among Muslims, right, we kind of make fun of other cultures because we pinpoint what we think is something worthy of ridicule or problematic. But I start looking at like, what makes this culture beautiful as opposed to what makes that culture beautiful. And yeah. when you look at it from that lens, you really start appreciating uh, the beauty and, and diversity. Like for example, within the Muslim scene, right? Yeah. Yes. Mm. The, 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 the joyfulness and the positivity of the Malaysians yeah. is like unmatched. Yeah. Like you just yeah. feel happy being around them. They're such a joyous people. Allah preserved their yeah. joy, right? I mean. And they have this just love for the Ummah. They just have yeah. this natural love. Yeah. And they're, they're very loving people. Yeah. Then like if, if you look at whatever interactions I've had with young uh, Turkish students, yeah. right? And Turkish community. And they're such forward thinking people. Yeah. Like they, they just have this eye on the bigger picture. Yeah. They just... You know, we get lost in the day to day and you can just so get so immersed in your own life. You're not taking a step back. Yeah. But it, it's profound that Allah has given them that sense of, I like to think of it as a sense of civilization. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, what I love about the Somali community is like, it just oozes out of them. The love of Quran, like yeah. Yeah. the love, of, like you just get jealous around them. Like, yeah. wow, there's a love of Quran in here. And just from, from children to the adults, to the yeah. elders, it's like this community just breathes and inhales and exhales the Quran yeah. all day long, you know? Yeah. It's just, it's so spectacular and so beautiful. Um, my, my early teaching career, I was uh, teaching a lot of uh, the Bangladeshi community in the United States, right? And the thing I noticed among my students at Bangladeshi that I didn't know, yeah. and I, I, inshallah, I pray I get a chance to go to Bangladesh. Yeah. Inshallah, soon I will. Um, the amount of like dedication, like when they get focused on something, yeah. the world doesn't exist. Yeah. They can just focus completely immerse yeah. themselves and focus. Like I know I'm scattered minded, right? <laughs> and I saw students there that like once they put their mind, mind to, to I've never yeah. seen more studious people. And it shows like, uh, uh, you know, uh, in, in the United States, for example, the Bangladeshi community is very high levels of education. Because they just, it, part of the culture is rigor in learning. Like they're, yeah. they're a learning culture, yeah. right? Um, and it's, it's really revered and, and respected. Like what I love about my own people, Pakistanis, right? Yeah. Pakistani bias, of course, the Pakistani. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta love myself. Yeah. So I got love for my people. But like the creativity, the creativity and the, like the resourcefulness of Pakistanis yeah. fascinates me. Wherever I've gone in the world, where I've, I've got a chance to go to Pakistan recently and it was just incredible. Yeah. Like, so, so they, even in, so in Muslim society, Sri Lanka has its own just beautiful element to that. Like the adab of the Sri Lankans, oh my God. Like these are the most, the kindest, most, I feel so uncivilized around them. They're so, <laughs> they're so well-mannered, you know? Um, and, and this isn't limited to like Muslim civilization. This yeah, is exactly like wide to everyone. It's wider to everyone. Yeah. So when you, when you go to different places, like when I was in Ireland, I just, found the people really friendly and really open yeah. and, you know, and when, when you oh, go to, yeah, <laughs> no, they weren't leprechauns, but, uh, <laughs> but they'll just start chatting up with you in the, in the taxi and just, just have, have you friendly. know, casual chat with you. Yeah. In the United States, there are multiple cultures. And, you know, when, when I first moved to Texas, this is one of the things that really fascinated me was just people just have casual conversation with you. How's it going? How's your day going? Isn't it hot outside? Like, yeah, it's hot. <laughs> yeah. My car, my truck went down and I had to go take it in the garage. And blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's pretty bad. <laughs> How about you? You got it. And they, they just want to talk about themselves. They just want to make conversation and make friends. Yeah. Like 
breaking the ice, so to speak, is super easy. Yeah. yeah. And you go to some other cultures where there's a lot of formality. Like I, I spent a little bit of time in Denmark and Danish people, what I like about them is they're highly disciplined people. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But they're so no nonsense. It's almost like, like if you try to make a joke, they're like, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> question your existence right? so so that's what i think about culture is is like there, there's something beautiful and like special yeah. about yeah. each of them one. that another culture could get a could use a little bit of yeah. there's no right? one specific one that's the best it's yeah i just i don't see that yeah you know what would you say is the best masjid you visited oh boy that would hands down would have to be masjid quds in uh Cape Town, South Africa. Yeah. yeah. Um, the, what I loved about that masjid was just a love in the masjid. The diversity, the different races that were there, the different schools of thought that were there. They weren't Muslims of a single denomination, but they were all just so kind towards each other and like respectful towards each other. The, young, the youth of the elders, the elders of the mm -hmm. youth. And there was just this joyous atmosphere in, uh, in the masjid and I just being around there, just I just felt good just being around these people. So would you say you know? that like community is what builds the masjid, like the good community? Is, so so I think like the backbone of it. Actually, my, my even my thoughts on how do you define community changed over time? Yeah. yeah. Um, commu we think of community as how many people are at the masjid, how many people are saying salam to each other and yeah. friends with each other, that, yeah. and how yeah. many projects are going on. Yeah. No, that's the community center. That's not the community. Yeah, a community is people that know each other. They do business with each other. They're dealing with each other outside of just one formal space. Yeah, like yeah. they're actually embedded in each other's life at life at some level. They're going to over to each other's homes for dinner. Yeah, their kids know each other's kids. The wives yeah. know each other. Like it's it's deeper than just a place where they congregate. Yeah, yeah. right. So what we did is we we said the masjid is the community. Yeah. Yeah. Or the population of, because they have a lot of Muslim stores in this neighborhood, this yeah. is the Muslim community. That's just a population of a common ethnicity in or a common area. religion. But that's, I, I, a community is something richer than that, it's deeper than that. It's when, yeah. when families actually have deeper connections. So what happens in, for example, Muslim minority countries? You could, for example, in London, New York, other places, so Chicago, yeah. you could go to the masjid for 20 years and not yeah. know other families. Yeah. Yeah. You just go. You pray, you come back to your apartment, you go to the halal restaurant, yeah, and yeah. you come back and you don't you don't get to know the waiter, you yeah. don't get to know the owner, yeah. you don't get to make friends with the, the cash register person, you don't get to yeah. make friends with your bus driver. You, that's not community. Community yeah. means the interacting and interactions yeah. and just working. That's together. precisely right. And that's why you can have masjids that are like two blocks from each other. Yeah. And they're completely different. Completely different. They all, and they can, if they disagree with each other religiously, they can speak to, about each other in very dehumanizing terms. Yeah. Yeah. Because they've never actually decided to sit at the same table and have a sandwich. Yeah. yeah. Or just sip some tea or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So I do think, uh, which is what I found profound about the Cape Tonian community. Yeah. Some of the elders there, they invited me to a dinner afterwards, right? Some yeah. of the founders of the masjid. We went to a house and they would literally take me out to the balcony on the second floor and say, you see this street? This is where apartheid was. We used to play, the brown and the black kids used to play on this side. Yeah. The white kids used to play on that side. If the ball went over to that side, we weren't able to get it. Yeah. And we'd have to secretly, you know, you know, ishara, so that they can, <laughs> they can bring it back to it. And they lived through that together. One yeah. of the elders lifted up his shirt. He showed me his gunshot wounds from apartheid, right? And the other one's laughing. Yeah, I had to take him into my car because there weren't, there wasn't any ambulance. Remember, I had to hold your, and they're like, <laughs> yeah. And I was like, these people have been through so much together. Yeah. yeah. And that transferred through generations and created a certain environment there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's, uh, that's something that I wish other communities had yeah. or that we should promote more of, you know? Yeah.